Four days since three people were shot on the opening night on Phantom Fall Fest. Kennywood Park officials just provided an update less than an hour ago. KDKA's Jessica Goy got some answers about security inside the park. She joins us live at Kennywood now. Jess, what have you learned? Well, Kennywood Park officials answered our questions and gave us a lot of new information. So Kennywood Park will have new and updated security measures when they reopen on Friday. That includes doubling police coverage, improving the perimeter. They've already cut down some trees, installed lights and more cameras along the fence line, and they're adding more staff at night. Some other things they're doing. The chaperone policy will start right when they open every day instead of 4 p.m. and only face masks that can be worn is an N95 mask, nothing that can completely cover your face. This update comes just days after two 15 year olds and a 39 year old man were shot when gunfire rang out inside the park Saturday night. They were treated for non life threatening injuries. Kennywood officials explained the security that was in place that night from the weapons detection system. They said officers and security guards did patrol the fence line and the chaperone policy was in place. Representatives from the company Evolve walked us through the park security system. That's the weapons detection system. Uh, they showed us how it really detects weapons. Kennywood staff, they're hoping that people feel safe enough to return to their park, knowing what they're doing to improve. And they said they don't know how the weapon got in, and that's why they're addressing the fence line. We cut down some trees along uh, the perimeter of the fence line, um, and we are uh, going to install lights so you'll be lit up all the way down the fence line from the stoplight here at McDonald's to the end of the park. Uh, and instead of patrolling, we'll be staffing the fence line. So with police and security, the entire time the park is open. They said that they could not answer any questions about the ongoing investigation. Allegheny County Police told us earlier in the week they recovered a gun at the scene that they say was reported stolen in Ohio last year. It's still unclear right now if that gun was used in the shooting. We'll make sure to keep you updated. Stay with KDKA throughout today. Live in West Mifflin, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.